So we're going to the Great Ocean Road. First we're going to check out the Warrnambool Beach because I feel like if we came to Warrnambool we kind of have to go to the beach just to like look. Um, yeah, it always like amazes me when people say, oh have you been here? And I'm like, yeah. And then they're like, oh so you went there? And I'm like, no I didn't go there. So yeah, we're going to the beach. Like the board, I don't know, it's not a boardwalk. Yeah. Port, Port Melbourne, the pier. Port Melbourne. Port Warrnambool. Port Warrnambool. <laughs> yeah, it's the seaweed. <laughs> kind of smells a bit funky with the seaweed. It's actually really beautiful. It looks fucking cold though. Oh, yeah. that's disgusting. Yeah, yummy. Thanks, Mama. Ew. Ew. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Hey, can you see the birds? This is the start of the Great Ocean Road. Allensford to Torquay. We're on like this single, single lane on the road right now. It's very pretty, so pretty. But I saw like a cove thingy, like some rock in the distance. And so I'm hoping that's what it is. Although my idea was that we could walk down with Murphy, but Murphy is so far sleeping a lot on this holiday. We thought it was the right one, but as there are no people, I suspect that it is not the right one and it doesn't really look like how I remember. But that's because it says it's Mariner's Bay. Still very, very beautiful, very beautiful. But I think we're just on like the wrong side. I think we've got to keep going. So the next one. No, I'm just going to see if we're in the right place now. I mean, it, it looks right, I think. Not 100% sure, but we have to keep walking to find out. Ooh. So beautiful. Yeah. I still don't think it is the right place. No, I feel like we like really walked in. Yeah, it was like much deeper. Like we came like here. Yeah. yeah. Island car park but I have decided not to go because there's like a lot of people and I'm not about that. Alright then. We really, want the... we really want the view without the people. <laughs> Actually, pretty cold. Pretty cold. Okay. I mean, there's there's only so long that you can like look at um, pretty views before. Like, okay, 
this is this is still pretty it was still pretty a minute ago I feel bad because we keep having to like Murph is like sleepy and then or sleeping then we pull him out sometimes he doesn't have shoes on so we gotta put his shoes back on I feel like there's just too, too many places too many there's too much freak so many apostles there's must be like fucking 500 apostles I hate it when other people are here. Ooh, tourism. Can you actually see out of them? Yeah. Serious? Yeah. Well, they're not like fake ones. Yeah, I know, but I just thought they were broken. Mm, it's two pieces of glass. Oh my god, you can. Yeah. We're going to London Bridge. Murphy's very, very, very over sightseeing. I mean, it looks like just a bridge. I don't know why it's London. Okay, it makes sense why it's called London Bridge now. Gonna get some food. Point camera. Point camera. Point camera. This is Port Campbell. Port Campbell. Port Campbell. Good. Quite pretty. Good. Everybody pretty good. Where are we going now? I think we're going to the Twelve Apostles now. It's very pretty. Yeah, this is um, so we had some good lunch. Murphy patted some dogs. Um, some puppies. Some puppies. Sorry, Jack awesome. and Tilly. They were very cute. Um, but then Murphy went crazy. They wouldn't stay still which is not conducive to safety. Anyway. The closer you get to the start, the more people there for sure is. It's 243 kilometers. The rolling hills. We're in the waterways right now. It's like an ancient forest. So I got Kunta stop. What was it called again? Melba Gully. Melba Gully. It's a bit concerning when like no one else is around because does that like determine the popularity of of the thing? But I, I did Google it. it. Was formed to protect a small pocket of natural rainforest in the Ottaways. It's really cold and you can tell like, uh, I'm not sure if you can tell but this, like, <sighs> it, the, the ground is like wet. Big. Small easy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. We're going to go find the Oh. <laughs> oh papa. Not a good start. <laughs> It's very depressing when you get to the big tree and find out that the big tree has in fact 
fallen over. <laughs> but it used to it used to be really big. It used to be 60 meters tall and then it fell in 2009. Well, I mean, they could advertise that coming up. But anyway. Big tree fell over in 2009. <laughs> big, big tree was 60 meters. But now it's now it's about three. Now it's I don't know where it is. Fall, fallen. Right, can you, you can't even see it. You can see the stump. Right. I mean, this looks like a ginormous. This looks pretty big. This looks pretty big. I mean, this on, goes man. all the way down there. Like that's that's pretty big. No, that's where we're going. You are not going. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. No falling down there. That is terrible. That is so scary. Look, my my light doesn't even um penetrate the darkness. But like I would I would say that this is a a pretty big tree. Granted, it has fallen. It's like a blanket on the tree. Very soft. A hairy tree. we had this big um, crash then when we got back to the car we realized that a tree had fallen on the road and so no one could leave down and so this tradie had to get his circular saw out and they were cutting it and then somebody else had a ute with like a, a winch on it and that is how we got out but we're actually going to the Californian redwood for us this time well, because I was really pregnant last time we were here it would be fun to recreate that and also it's gonna be a very long time probably till we come back here if we ever do come back here so come on. wow and now we are in the Californian redwood sequoia forest something trail rail trail that goes from beach forest which i mean we're, we're like in the hills right now to colac it's a 50 kilometer loop i think God, is it? but over 50 kilometers you've got a thousand meters of elevation a thousand meters we love doing rail trails but so glad we didn't do that one because a thousand meters of elevation over 50 kilometers with a trailer. that with a trailer 
Like that would have been hell. That that would have been impossible for us. Home now. It's 4:40. It says we're gonna get home at like seven o'clock. Um, I think I'm gonna stop filming now unless there's something interesting that occurs. But I hope you enjoy have enjoyed this video. Of course, you'll be seeing this in weeks, <laughs> weeks and weeks and weeks. Or probably like by the time I get around to editing this video we might already be in the Netherlands by the time you see this. We didn't make it to Torquay because we have obviously come to uh, the waterways um, which is just like on the way um, and if you stop so much then like even though it's only 200 kilometers um, it easily eats up a lot of time by stopping in at different places. Bye!